the, the mer- reunion mm. of the century, I tell you. <laughs> the reunion yeah. of the century. Me and the merchandise man. Yeah, I think... I, do you know what? Again, I'm so sad about this because he's been so kind to us. I think he's called Alejo. But I don't know. I, I, yeah, I don't said it on WhatsApp, I think. Yeah, but I don't know if that was his name. So, I, anyway. We call him merchandise man. We call him, the, yeah, the merch man for Fozzie. I don't know whether he's a relation to someone in the band, someone from the management team. Yeah, he, he could, looks like he could be related to Rich. Or, 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 or last year he could have been... Been sit, sit, since since last year, he had, he had like no beard and like really long hair, and now he had like a massive haircut and uh, and started growing a beard. Yeah, he looked cool, didn't he? Yeah. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Fozzy show last year at Club Academy in Manchester. Amazing gig. He was kind to us then, this merch guy, and you danced with him. Yeah. And um. I ended up sending in a couple of the photos and the videos of Luke dancing with him. And we kind of stayed in touch. You know, we'd sent him, I'd sent him a link to... WrestleThink. WrestleThink Boombox episode and, you know, just some bits and pieces. He's clearly, he's a busy guy. Like, he's on tour with a rock band around the world. Yeah. And you know what? He stopped the people he was serving, stopped what he was doing, and ran over to Luke and, like, cuddled him, high-fived him, Brought him round the back of the merch stall. Yeah. I got a signed photo for, like, I think the Fuzzy VIPs. Yeah. A, a, a signed to, a Judas album and, and and a signed badge. And, mate, if, if if you're listening to this, thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. And, and mainly because of that, because of... The stuff we bought last year, I've, I've now got a fuzzy wall, and uh, and we're planning to pin my my old fuzzy t-shirt there, be, because he gave us also uh, a free t-shirt for me and Kieran, and I think a free hat for me. It was incredible. I mean, first and foremost, this gentleman remembered Luke from last year. I mean, that in itself was great. Yeah. He... Uh, he seemed to remember me, but I'm, I'm not too bothered about me because it was wonderful that he remembered you. It was absolutely wonderful that he remembered you. Yeah. As a dad, those things make you so happy when you see your son so happy. And it was incredible. And then he served a couple of people. And then like, I got to the front of the queue and he's like, hey, Andrew, gave me a cuddle. He said, what, what do you get? I'm like, oh, a couple of T-shirts for the boys and... And he got his laptop and then he said, look, no, the yours, the yours. And I didn't even need to pay for them. He was so, so generous and so, so kind. I was just yeah. a wonderful, wonderful man. He absolutely raised the level of the night. I know, yeah. Brilliant. And so kind, so, so kind. And like we were on cloud nine, really, weren't we? Yeah. Number one to see him. <laughs> yeah. Because he brought back so many great memories. Yeah. And it, like, it felt like we made a friend last year and for him yeah. to remember... You and yeah. me a little bit. That was good. Super, in fact. And then, I can't remember what we did. Like, we went back to our little area at the side. Um, 